No, sadly, we're not in some exotic location for our latest hit of That 7 Show. We are on lockdown. I'm in Sydney and my wing partner, my wing man, is on the other side of the Tasman Carlton. No, no. How does this thing work? Okay, so hit the green button. The green button. Wait, 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 hang on a second, mate. Someone's downloading another season on Netflix. Stop downloading. Uh-huh. Hello? Hey, uh-huh. hey. Can you hear me? Carl, I'll have to call you back. Who's behind my back? I'll have to call you back. Yep, now the buffering issues are all ironed out. I can let you know that we're coming to you from our own little isolation decks. As mentioned, I'm in Sydney. On the other side of the Tasman is Carlton. Nana. KT, how you doing, brother? Oh, man, it's been good. It's been good, bro. I'm trying to keep up with all these Sevens legends doing some training. So we've got the KT Backyard Boot Camp, which is pretty early in the morning. I haven't seen you turn up yet, Shawnee. Wait for that. And, uh, <laughs> doing a bit of homeschooling and, and rugby skills in the backyard. And what about you, my mate? I see you've been keeping busy on the Instas. I've been busy on the Instagram lives with World Rugby. I've had so many big names. Carlin Isles, Elia Green from the World of Sevens, Habana, Ruby Tui. It's been going off, it really has. Back to the training side of things, are you just trying to keep pace with some of the other seven stars who've launched their own little boot camps over the last little bit? To be honest, Shawnee, because we're on lockdown, we can't go anywhere. All I do is eat, so I've got to work it off so I can chuck more <laughs> down the gullet, man. Okay. We've seen Ghislaine Landry, Roscoe Speckman, Shake Soy Zwapi, our boy out of South Africa, doing their thing over the last little bit. And another thing I know that's caught your eye, you love, I know you love the Instas, you're 94. Some of our seven stars have taken things to a really creative space over the last little bit. Yeah, that's been the cool thing. I mean, as a winger does, you know, when you don't actually do much, you just run fast and score tries. Jordan Conroy, just walking down the stairs like he's, he's on the runway. He's got the he's got the shirt half open. What's going on there, champ? <laughs> Conroy's been getting uh, loose and crazy. Ruby Tui, one of my favourites. She's taken it to another level altogether. What about putting a footy field in your backyard? She's made a fence. Now she's put a footy field in there. <laughs> okay, T, I've got some good news for you as well. The German team who play on the HSBC Challenger Series, the Wolfpack. Oh, oh. They're back training. They're wearing face masks. They're social distancing. And the Aussie Sevens team under Tim Walsh have been paired off over the last little bit and are rip-rearing, good to go. Oh, that's music to our ears, isn't it, Shawnee? Some teams getting ready to go. Hopefully, we're not too far away to see them on the field pretty soon. Not just the players, coaches as well. Coach Mike Friday, well, he is on hand right now to give us a little bit of a pep talk, a motivation chat, if you will, towards the back end of isolation. Over to you, coach. Ref, come on, mate. Second half, two metres. Let's kick for two metres. Right, dogs, in we come. OK, first thing first, who's kick off? Danny, powers? Brilliant. It's windy out here, let's nail it. Okay, decent first half. We were disciplined, we were focused. We're in an arm wrestle now, though. So it's all about sticking to the plan come second half. Okay, don't get loose. Don't get complacent for me. Three things. Three things I need you to focus on. Okay, first thing, social distancing. Let's make sure we're on point there. Perry, you're on fire, mate. Two metres. Stick with it. Brilliant. Okay, second point. Okay, working out. Physically, mentally at home, we can get it done. Carlin, this is where you can be exceptional. Second half, deliver for me. Pat, no more cake, mate. Second half, no more cake. Third thing, stay connected. Stay connected with your friends, with your family, with each other. Find a way, okay? FaceTime, Zoom, WhatsApp. Party Marty's telling me house party. Get it done, find a way. If that makes a difference, let's do it, okay? Second half, stay focused, stay disciplined, and get it done, and we can win this. Well done, let's get out there. Alrighty, our first guest on That 7 Show in isolation is a long-time favourite of Carlton Anna's and mine, Tommy Mitchell, all the way from the UK. How you doing, Bobby? I'm good, mate. I'm good. I didn't know I was a long-term favourite of you two. Are you just saying that? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Would you say that to everyone it comes I on? I thought so. I thought so. Hey, how have you been getting through isolation? What's been happening in England and at what stage are you at at the moment? Oh, it's been pretty crazy here. I think we've had it worse than a lot of countries or maybe dealt with it worse than some countries so yeah i've just been trying to stay at home trying to keep taking over training doing what i can lifting bottles of wine as weight and then drinking <laughs> bottles of wine at the end of it <laughs> the weights are getting lighter as the days go on you've also been putting some really decent stuff down on instagram including your juggling i've been juggling pinot Vidello, cab sav and uh a, a barillo <laughs> 
that you've taken to using Gilberts, and you're pretty good at it. I'm trying to graduate from three ball to four ball juggling, which uh, is proving a challenge. To be honest, like a lot of the days now, aside from the training, is just trying to find stuff to do to, to stay occupied. On the Fridays, you've been doing your throwback uh, jerseys, and, and I've seen a couple of nice ones come out. I mean, what's your favourite one you've worn? I went big on the first one, which was the Tequila Sunrise <clears throat> jersey. That Eagle <clears throat> Sevens away strip from back in the day. That, I mean, that has got to be the number one. What about if we spin it back to, gosh, when was it, guys? When we were in Vancouver, it feels like 17 lifetimes ago. How are things starting to track for you men across those uh, two most recently completed tournaments, do you think? Yeah, it was an interesting one because we still had a bit of a split in the group with a, a big group being out injured. Like We had a lot of more senior guys out injured, which was great because it gave an experience for the young boys. And I think, you know, frustratingly, in some respects, we were really improving and those young guys are really kind of getting a feel for it. And we're looking to kick on with some of the more experienced guys coming back into the squad from injury as well. So, yeah, a bit of frustrating time in that respect. Uh, but obviously in the grand scheme of things, uh, it's not something to be worried about, to be honest. It's been quite a while since we've had some action out in the middle. And if you've forgotten kind of what happens in the world of sevens, here is the USA's Lauren Doyle with a full explainer. He's sevens inside seven seconds, KT. Boom. Fast. Hard-hitting, dynamic, tactical, exciting, fun. <laughs> Woo! She's always grinning ear to ear and so is our guest, Charlotte Kaslik. How are you doing? Nice to have you all the way from Queensland, is that right? Yep, I'm out in Stanthorpe in Queensland at the moment. Just isolating on our little property out here. Injury kind of crueled you through bits and pieces last year. How's the body feeling now? Yeah, the body's feeling pretty good actually. We got put on like four sleeve for about four weeks. So I had some good time off and been able to refresh myself both physically and mentally. I'm really excited to get back training hopefully within the next few weeks. and. Um, get back into it. One thing that we saw the other week was your work with the old school skipping skills. Yeah, I used to be in a skipping team at primary school and thinking back, we used to train a lot for skipping. We do about three and a half hours a week of skipping training. Wow. So I'm glad I'm still good at it because God, I put some hours into it when I was little. <laughs> like I do a lot of skipping with the boxing training. I, I need some advice, the, the double unders. I'm absolutely mad. I've got all these scars from hitting the shins. What's the secret? I don't know. People always ask me this, but I can just do it. And I don't know why. Oh, you're one of those ones. I can just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this, Charlotte Caslick. Who is a better farmhand, yourself or your other half, Louis Holland? Definitely Louis. I get very distracted. Does he go for noise with the with the cowboy hat and the boots and everything? <laughs> yep, he does. <laughs> um. <laughs> does he want to stick his head in and say hello? Come on over. <laughs> Howdy. Just, oh, oh he's here got he goes. Oh, oh, there he is, cowboy. Can we get a quick word from you as well? So Charlotte's can't wait to get back on the field. Uh, how are you going on the fitness front? Are you ready to tear? Yeah, mate, ready to go. I've been working like a dog fencing, so <laughs> uh, it keeps you fit. Well, what's the secret? Because I've got to put up a fence up, up as soon as lockdown's finished. Save your money and get some other bloke to put it up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can't wait to see both you, Louis, and Charlotte back on the field. Actually, I've got a way that we can get a look at Louis Holland in action, and that's via 24-7s. Yep, the next episode of this unbelievable docuseries is dropping real soon, and it's a deep dive on Hamilton. I think the passion for rugby in New Zealand is part of us. You grow up watching the All Blacks, and all our kids dream to wear that jersey. This is an opportunity for us to go and leave mana in New Zealand because that's our goal when we travel around the world. We teach each other values that can help us uh, not only in rugby but uh, in life. And they were just fired up and I think they wanted it more. We knew it was going to be a really tough game and it went right down to the wire. There we are, KT. We've nailed our first ever That Seven show. In lockdown. I know, we haven't got the hoff, but haven't you here? I feel close, bro. I feel close. Touching me, touching you. It's been a blast. We'll see you all again soon. Don't leave me yet. It means I have to go to the dishes. I don't want to do the dishes. I don't want to do the vacuum. I don't want to cook anymore. I'm over it. I'm over it. Shawnee, you're my lifeline. He's gone. Just 
Listen. 